Alright, this is my next project. I'm making applesauce. I scrounged up this many apples and I have a pear tree at my house and so this is really going to be a combination of pears, pears and applesauce. Very commonly done and uh, this one sink full ought to make a decent little pot, decent little batch. Be the first time in my life I ever made applesauce slash pear sauce. So I'm gonna get going and uh, keep you posted as I get 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 it done. All right, it's almost eight o'clock. I got all those pears and apples cut up, and uh, just like the peaches, we got to start simmering them down. Once they cook down, these they, they, they might be thick enough. You know, whereas the peaches, we had to greatly reduce them. And, uh, so, got them in the pot, got them cooking. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so it's been a little over an hour. This pot has really cooked down noticeably. Getting down a lot of water in there. This pot... You can see the water, but it's definitely got a ways to go. Maybe just because it's a bigger pot, it's taking longer to cook. But uh, we're cooking, and we're doing. So I'll bring you back later. Also, you know, it's a, it, it, this is why you really want to blend different apples and pears. And the pears from my tree, I know, are very, very dry pears. And, uh, you know, and when I get all done, I'll combine these two pots, the sauce, and uh, so it's one consistent batch. And right now, I wouldn't say it's very consistent at all. All right, we'll come back again. All right, we have a new occupant in the kitchen. This is called a food mill. We've moved on from peaches to now applesauce. So I got this pot, it's all ready to go, cooked up. I'm gonna put it in the food mill here. I'm gonna turn this handle, and hopefully, magic, magic presto, applesauce is gonna come out there. All the seeds, the skins are gonna come out there. I bought this machine at least five years ago, probably at some yard sale. And at the time, I had no intentions of using it. But it was in the original box, just like brand new, and I probably gave him two bucks for it, or else I wanted to buy it, and put it in the barn, and there it sat until today. So uh, I'm going to get started, learn what I'm doing, and I'll bring it back and give you a show. Alright, so this machine is called the Squeezo. So, uh... That's how much I've done so far. It's pretty easy. Put this cook put the it's pretty easy. Put the cooked apples in there. Don't let it suck air, because if you let it suck air, it'll make a big air bubble right there and it will splash out. All you do is just stand here and crank it super easy. And presto changeo. Apple sauce is coming out there. And seeds and skins are coming out there. So uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time just turning the handle for you. If you want to watch on uh, YouTube other people really using this thing and telling you about it, please do. Just type in Squeezo on the uh, search bar on YouTube. You can learn all about it. Working great. Alright, I got my first pot done. Looks like a pretty good yield to me. It's half a pot. That's my second pot. I got that loaded up. That hopper holds a lot. And uh, there's a lot more pears in this uh, pot. That I'm, I have to push them down a little bit more to get them to grind out. But uh, the old squeeze is just a going here. Took a little taste, tastes good. Gonna put cinnamon in it. 
that's what we're gonna have. All right, bring it back when I got this pot done. All right, I got that all done. That's all the seeds and the skins. Stuff that's not in the pot for applesauce. I still need to clean out the machine. And there's a special thing you do with all that stuff. But that's what I got. Um, it's dang near a full pot. You know, started out with two. Cooked them all down. You know, so to me that's a pretty good yield. You know, I didn't, you know, before with the peaches, once it boiled down I added more peaches. I didn't do that. With this stuff um, I probably shouldn't because that's just the right amount in that pot to work with so I'm gonna heat it up reduce it I'm gonna get this cleaned up here a little bit I got an errand to run and uh, looking good really happy with uh, you know all free peaches and apples that's, that's, in my world, that's what canning's about, man. Canning, canning when you got the, the abundance. When it's given to you, when it's provided to you, you do something with it for the future. All right, I got three quart jars filled up with the apple pear sauce. These are my grandmother's jars. I just got these, the rubber gaskets. Just came in the, in the mail today. I got the carry warming up. I got enough in here to do at least three more quarts and then probably a pint or two. And then uh, over here, this is all the uh, seeds and skin and all that kind of stuff. And I added water to it and I'm going to boil it and I'm going to drain it, strain it, and then I can use that for pectin. It's natural fruit pectin that I'll probably use for peaches. I got peaches in the freezer that need to be canned up. So um, I'm going to try using that natural pectin to make my peach preserves set up a little more. Still not using sugar, still not using commercial pectin. All right, so I'll bring you back when we got something else going on. I tasted this and it just a touch of cinnamon didn't need it but I just put it in there it is absolutely good that could be a little bit thicker but um, again I'm going with what I got it's good all right there's my first batch of applesauce three quart jars I'm doing all my applesauce in quart jars. So, grab another one. I love using these. I'm going to get tired of hearing me say it. These old jars. You know, you can't buy a jars anymore. anymore. And um, I was able to get these seals that are reusable. So from now on, it's going to be really free use of jars. Good. So there's the rest of the applesauce I got, and there's the all the pulp and seeds and whatnot from the squeeze out and putting them putting it through this strainer and stripping down in there and that's either going to be pectin or it might just be apple juice i'm really not sure i haven't tried to taste it yet but uh just know that's what people do with this pulp and uh i can even add water to it and do it again boil it again but I'm, I'm going to be happy with one time. I got to get done. Alright, so I'm going to keep moving. Alright, there it is. My first five quarts of homemade applesauce. Couldn't have come out better. Couldn't be any happier. Especially using those old time jars. So, 
I'm sure that's just the first of many. And uh, another good batch. All right, we'll see you on the next one.